to my channel how are you all merry christmas okay merry christmas because it's just coming in hot and uh, i mean it's coming in cold but we are coming in hot right the christmas vibes uh, singing my christmas carols and i mean just look at this look it's christmas okay okay i did this look using just one palette actually i used two palettes but the star of the show is this emerald palette from the h cosmetics and this is what i use today if you want to know how i did this look let's just not waste any time let's get into the video let's go it's already been done and that will be up on my ig right i will link it in the description box if the video is already up or i'll update it when when it gets up okay it will be there you can see it so if you haven't followed me yet just do it already okay and yeah let's get into the eye makeup okay so i have two palettes with me over here the first one is this emerald palette you know from bh cosmetics the emerald um, birthstone palette for may and this is how it looks now let's look at this palette okay just look at this and tell me this does not scream christmas to you because it has all these greens the emerald the red the browns you know it's like a true it's a true christmas palette right but i personally feel um you remember the aquamarine palette from march that is like a perfect palette this is not perfect and you know it says that i just find that the emeralds over here are not stark emeralds you know that i would love to see also if they would have been like a matte emerald color like a true matte emerald color that would have been so pretty and for some reason i do not have one single palette in this world that has emerald color which is weird so i have this palette over here which is the um, the heaty 3 palette and it has this beautiful forest color this one it's it's a pretty this is very similar to my background so I'm not sure. Maybe I would just use this color because I think it is a very pretty emerald color. And yeah, I mean, I want to have like a true, you know, like a true emerald eye. You know, if you understand what I mean. So yeah, yeah. So you know, this restless color over here. This is like a brownish um, emerald color, which um, it's not bad, but it's not my. Fave either. I think it has it pulls a little bit more brown than green, but I want to lean more towards the greens than you know brown. So that is one reason why I have pulled out like a green palette. So we'll start off with Tahiti palette first, and let's get into this color over here, the forest color. Right. So yeah, I want a true emerald green base, and that is what I want to build upon. Right. So yeah, let's start off. Whoa, this is pretty dark. I wasn't expecting it to be this. I'll be blending this away side by side. Let, let's just take this restless shade over here to blend this out. Yeah. Um, this palette has a true Christmas vibe, honestly, because if you see, it has this red, it has the browns, right? So yeah, it just has a lot more Christmasiness to it. Also, yeah, I think I find this problem with this palette that when I blend it out, it just makes it very messy. This one is really messy to work with. So I would like to blend it a little bit with the compact itself, right? I'll just take the compact and I just will blend this out because it looks way too crunchy. Let's layer up the forest color. Let's take Restless, the same Restless, the khaki green color. Okay, I think this would look fine over here. I'm just taking this. And a little bit of forest as well. Let's just mix these two colors again. It's a little streaky. Can you see this over here? <laughs> So when I did the first emerald eye look, which by the way, if you haven't checked it out, I'll put that in the description box. Um, I did realize that this palette has a very clear Christmas vibe to it. And that is one reason why I was, I just didn't use it all this while. 
because I obviously saw the potential and this is like a second review to this palette, right? So let me just show you the shimmer. So this one is emerald and this is how it is, right? Then we have total package and how oh, wow, beautiful. Then we have artsy AF. This is more towards the brownie emerald shade and then we have hard worker, which wow, this, this color is very pretty, okay? So this is emerald, yeah? And again, it's a true emerald color. Wow, it sort is really nice as well. Then we have um, total package, which is like a, you know, like a champagne gold shimmer, which is very pretty again. Then we have artsy AF more leaning towards the darker brown side of the emerald. I like this color as well. And then we have hard worker, which is a very, very grungy brown color in this is a very pretty color like this color on its own with a little bit of you know with this color you know these two colors together it is a total party popper color this is very pretty now the glitter over here it is a little orange and a little white this is how it is and let me just give you a little swatch over here um yeah the glitter is pretty but a little chunky this is the type of glitter that is very hard to remove you know you need tapes to get it out so that is that. So I will start off with the Artsy AF, staying true to the greens itself on half of the lid. Or maybe let's just do Artsy AF on the whole lid, upar, and we'll just do Emerald Niche, right? That would be too cool. And now I have really loved doing this, that you know, just take your um, shimmer all over the lid like this and it just gives a very nice vibe so I will take um, the champagne shimmer color total package and I'll just apply it in the inner corner you know just to give that little pop see this color has a pop to it as well and it is pretty right and I'll just take this a little bit upper as well Yeah. Let me just take a green pencil and let me just put it in the waterline. This one is from Miss Claire's and this is Emerald Shade. Well, now I really enjoy Emerald Shade a lot, you know, playing with Emerald Shade. shade. But for some reason, I think finding Emerald Shade is not that easy, you know, in eyeshadows. So that is like something I don't like about makeup companies. Like, what are you doing, guys? And let's just take this Emerald Shade and... Put it on the lower lash line. Wow. Let me just dust off the fallout. Let's do the eyeliner as well. And I'm taking this Marska eyeliner, which is a little bit thick, right? And it would just work really well on the top of this glitter and stuff well i think the liner now looks really nice okay let's do the mascara right and then i'll pop on some lashes let's do the lips as well and then i'll be back with the final look because the lips are a little surprise Okay, so I have applied the lashes and I think I applied, okay, wait, I applied these cups and lashes, lashes in Punji, okay, Guava like capital Punji and wow, I mean these lashes, I really thought these lashes were very wispy and big, too dramatic for me, but they just fit in really well and I think it just looks nice and um, I have applied this Lacme 9 to 5 lipstick mm, on my lips because I think this brick red color is just the perfect vibe that also i applied this swiss beauty car lip liner uh this is in the shade i believe it's hot red and you know i really felt that this liner is sort of kind of you know like um a little too dried up formula if you understand you know so a little dried up as in the formula but when i applied it on the lips it really it really worked out really well right it was very you know like it glided really well on the lips so i love this one as well okay 
right and yeah i mean you guys merry christmas so yes guys this is the christmas 2021 look and i like it i mean it's a nice look and yeah that's it that's it for today's video you guys please hit the like button subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll meet you in the next video guys merry christmas and happy new year bye <laughs>